Hello guys, in the previous two videos, we created owner and category APIs. Now our product schema is complete. Now we can add object ID to each of this category and owner. Now we can complete our product.js route. Let's go to product.js and let's complete two of the get requests, put requests and delete requests. So by now, you probably know how to create get all products. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to create by yourself. Since you already create by yourself, I'm just going to finish it up. And to save some time, we're going to go to category and we're going to go to get requests and we're going to copy this entire thing because it is the same thing. So when I say that writing an API will be the same thing over and over again, it is actually the truth because you're going to write a lot of similar you're going to write a lot of similar codes so now i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to change to product and copy this change to product product and product and change to product and now we have our get request for get all products so let's go to postman and let's test it out now let's change this to products and send. We have to start the server because I keep on canceling the server. Let's go back to Postman and let's click send. As you can see, these are all the products that we just added. But we will be deleting all of this because, because there are no categories and as well as owner. But we can also update all of these products. So let's create the next API first, get before we go and create the put request, which is updating a single product. So copy this. I want to challenge you. If you want to get a single product, how would you do that? I want you to think for a second because what I'm about to show you is a new concept in an API, which is a parameter. The first thing we need to do is we want to pass the parameter here, which is double dot and ID. This is a parameter. So later on, your URL will be like this API products and the object ID of the product, which will be something like this. So we want to get that number and pass it to the database to search for that. So now change this to product because it's a single product. Product.find1, which will be a new operation for us, and pass in the ID. But how are we going to pass this ID? We need help from requests. So requests dot params dot ID. So when we fetch this, it will take the ID of the parameter here, which will be, for example, will be one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we want response with product and product here. So save this and let's go to our postman. And let's copy the ID because it is unique and go to a new tab and type local host 3000 API products and pass in the ID. If you click send, there you have it. We have a specific product, which is a single product. It returns Harry Potter because we got it from this Harry Potter ID. But what if you take this ID, will it change? So let's check it out. There you have it. It's the same. So when you pass the ID, it will search for this specific product and it will return that product. So there we have it. We just finished two of our get requests, which is get all products, which we already created like twice before. And another one is get requests, get a single product which a little bit different because right now we are using request.params.id to search for a single product. So there we have it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.